It's time for some smooth operator fashion because it's winter and you know what that means, incorporating silky smooth velvet into your wardrobe. And the winter months tend to bring on some extra baggage in the waistline, but we've got the quickest way to shed some pounds. A ton of celebs do this to snap their bodies back. It's called cryotherapy and I tried it. You'll get an inside look. And finally, let's kick our fashion back to the English Renaissance, the new and improved corset look that is sweeping Hollywood. We're talking about all of these right now on Holly Scoop's Trending Topics. How good was that our role? Renaissance! <laughs> Happy weekend, you guys. Welcome to Holly Scoop's Trending Topics. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Devin Howard. Devin, I'm so happy you're back. I haven't gotten to do this trending thing with you for a while. So I first, know. let's talk about velvet. Velvet. It is the perfect fabric for the fall and winter months. It's silky, it's smooth. It's usually in dark colors because obviously it's winter. I mean, I guess you could rock some hot pink velvet. Might be a bold fashion winter statement, it's but it's fine. Bold. Um, the great thing about velvet is you can wear it in pretty much any form and head to toe. You can wear it in crop tops, bodysuits, pants, skirts, jumpsuits, boots, flats, and heels. We have a couple examples right here. I have like this dress that's kind of like an asymmetrical, like, Fun oh, that's so cute. I know, isn't that fun? This one's a, a romper. So you can really rock it in any, in any, any form. Version. And yeah. this is a jumpsuit, it's just real, real long, but it's this pretty like purple crushed velvet color that I'm obsessed with. But I really like these dark, deep, wintry tones. They're really feminine and like you said, so soft. And everyone looks good in jewel tones. That's yeah. the great thing about them. Like nobody looks terrible in navy, yeah. okay? No one looks bad. Um, of course, celebs have been rocking this trend. We've got Gigi Hadid, who pretty much rocks every trend all yeah. the time and looks fabulous while doing it. We have Stella Maxwell, another really big fashionista who's always on the scene, and Miranda Kerr. So love all of the ways those ladies rock velvet. That's what's great about these. They look so good for Christmas parties. You can throw it with a pair of tights and booties if you live in a cold area. Luckily, we can just wear ours without tights. Yep. Because <laughs> um, it is always warm and nice. But yeah, it's literally, it is perfect for the holidays. I'm obsessed. I love it. I'm definitely going to be rocking probably this one, and I think I need to go get like a little crop top or something. Ooh, yes. That's what I'm thinking. I want a little skater skirt, a oh, velvet skater cute. skirt. So cute, right? Okay, maybe that's what we should wear to our holiday party. Let's do it. We'll plan it ahead. <laughs> okay, next, let's talk about that cryotherapy. Devin, please fill me in on everything because I am so jealous, and you guys know I'm a thicker gal, so if I can burn some calories quickly, I'm on board. So I've been hearing about cryotherapy for a while now. Lots of celebrities are doing it, and it's just definitely the latest health and wellness trend. Mm -hmm. So they say when you walk into this sub-zero, negative 250 degree cryotherapy chamber, it can burn up to 800 calories in a single three-minute session. So that is music to my ears. <laughs> I <a> love that. It's <laughs> a lot of calories. I mean, you can't even burn a, I mean, you have to do like a really hard workout class to even burn 500 calories. So yep. all I have to do is stand in a cold tank for three minutes and burn 800, like take my money. Well, it, trust me, it's not as easy as it okay. sounds. <laughs> the three minutes end up feeling like they last a, a, a lifetime. Um, we have a vlog coming up, but I just wanted to talk about some of the benefits, aside from uh, burning calories very quickly, that come with <laughs> Devin's the like, there are other healthy things about this besides just burning calories, Madison. Relax. <laughs> I mean, that is a major one. That's yeah. a big reason why I wanted to do it. Um, but it also helps to reduce inflammation, which means if you've done a really intense workout and mm -hmm. you know you're going to be sore, you won't be as sore because your muscles will be less inflamed. Mm -hmm. um, I've gone in, actually, I went in with a headache mm -hmm. and walked out no headache wow amazing and I, I suffer from headaches pretty frequently mm -hmm. and cryotherapy really helped um, some people even report that continued use of cryo can reduce cellulite and obviously reduce weight and uh, help in fat reduction help reduce fat um, obviously all of that kind of like remains to be seen studied proven the FDA hasn't fully endorsed cryotherapy just yet okay. But ah, what does the FDA know? I know. No, I'm just kidding. Right? Oh, the <laughs> FDA. Um, but what I've noticed is that it's just good to give your body like a quick pick me up. It's like having a couple shots of espresso. That coldness really wakes you up. And I've heard that it really helps people get rid of their hangovers too. So if you have a little too much champs, 
God bless America. I'm going to do cryotherapy right after this. That sounds like all the things I need in my life. You know I, I indulge in a little too much chance, a little too frequently. <laughs> you can definitely check it out and let me know what you think of it. Um, celebrities who are really, really enjoying cryotherapy are Demi Lovato. Uh, she went in as part of like, she, she posted on, on her Instagram story and said rehabbing. So I guess it was maybe, I don't know if it had anything to do with her actual rehabilitation process, but Anyway, yeah. moving on. Mental and physical health, it's yes, all the same. Yes, exactly. Kim Kardashian tried out a cryofacial, mm. which is supposed to tighten your skin. We've heard Justin Bieber enjoys cryo. Another famous Justin, Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. Couples who freeze together, stay together. Oh, right? so cute. Love it. <laughs> all right, everybody, I want you to check out my experience walking into the negative 250 degree cryo chamber. Check it out. And today, I am voluntarily walking into negative 250 degrees. I'm trying out cryotherapy because all of the celebrities really love it. So let's see how it is. All right, people, I'm about to go in. Just take a look at this really quickly. So cold, and it's gonna get even colder. Right now, it's just at negative 37. It's gonna be much more cold than that. Hi, Holly Scoopers. I'm currently in here. As you can tell, it's really cold, and the temperature just keeps dropping. I think it's gonna get down to negative 250 degrees. I'm powering through it, but I'm pretty freezing already. <laughs> LA right now but we'll see how I feel tomorrow hopefully my muscles are not as sore as they are today but it was a lot of fun very very cold but really invigorating and I feel ready to take on my day <laughs> Devin I am so jealous that you did that I'm gonna go check out cryotherapy now you just inspired me <laughs> I mean after hearing all those good things I'd be a dummy not to um, <laughs> last let's talk about the Renaissance square neckline style clothes that are coming back you actually rock this style a lot, very frequently. <laughs> I do actually, don't no, I? No, <laughs> you really do, and it looks amazing. It's like a kind of a corset type top with the puffy shoulders. Yeah. Um, and we did talk about puffy sleeves last week. Right. And so this is just kind of like a different take on it and a little different trend with like the square neckline, mm -hmm. the Renaissance feel. Um, I feel like it's very flattering on pretty much any figure, which is great. Yeah, the seams are placed so perfectly on this style of outfit. Mm -hmm. it's, it comes in shirts, it comes in dresses. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> um, where it just highlights like the smallest part of your waist and right. it's really flattering on your collarbone and your like upper chest area. Yeah. So that's why I really like it. No, I love it. The different, like the Renaissance Victorian looks can include corseted dresses and belts, super cinched waists, square necklines, but like we said, with the delicate puffy sleeves mm -hmm. and styles that are just reminiscent of another era with like a, you know, 2018 twist, which I'm really all for. I mean, I feel like that era just like so much like wealth and just like amazingness. And I'm like, oh, if I can bring that into 2018, let's do it. And I also really like this look because it's very feminine and yes. soft and girly. And anytime I put on uh, something with a square neckline and these sleeves and the cinched waist, I just feel like such a girly girl. I feel like it fits you perfectly. Oh, thanks. Um, celebs <laughs> that are rocking this Renaissance square neckline style are Kendall Jenner. She wore the square neckline puppy sleeve dress to the Vouv Clico polo party in the Palisades last month. You which should have been there. <laughs> Thank you. I, every time I see that event and I see the pictures, I'm like, where was my invite? I need to just buy a ticket next year. Um, Selena Gomez wore this Victorian inspired outfit to the 2017 Fashion Awards. I mean, Selena's always a trendsetter, let's call it like it right, is. Right, right. Um, Lana K Condor, excuse me. Oh my gosh, I should know that. She's from my favorite movie, To All the Boys I've Loved Before on Netflix. Yeah. I'm obsessed with that. I've literally watched it maybe eight or nine times. What? Yeah, that bit is of excessive. A, bit of, yeah, bit of a big fan. <laughs> um, we have Princess Meghan Markle, who is just always looking amazing and effortless. Classy, gorgeous. All of those things. Mm -hmm. We have Bella Hadid, again, another trendsetter, just like her sister, and Riverdale's Vanessa Morgan. Oh, all of those ladies look fabulous in the, the look. Yeah, and another thing that I really love about the Renaissance inspired dresses and shirts is that a lot of them come in these really uh, soft floral patterns. Mm -hmm. And I think you normally think of floral as being something reserved for spring and summer, but now you can wear it in fall. And I'm a big fan of the floral pattern. I so. can see that. <laughs> you are all for it. I'm all for it. <laughs> all right, you guys, let us know what you think about all of these trends. What do you think about velvet? What do you think about cryotherapy? Do you want to try it? Did Devin inspire you like she
she inspired me. <laughs> and last but not least, what do you think about the Renaissance inspired necklines with the sleeves and the waist and just everything? Talk it out down there in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys here next time on Holly Scoop's Trending Topics. Bye guys. Bye.